a dash cam. A dash cam is a must. Why? Because 1.25 million people die per year in car accidents. So no matter who you are, you should invest in a dash cam. And definitely, you should have one if you live full-time in your car or if you Uber, DoorDash, anything like that. But all people should have a dash cam to limit your liability and to ease the pain that you're going to go through if, God forbid, you get into a car accident because there's so many factors emotionally, physically, and also financially. A car accident brings liability and lawsuits, and even if you're in the right, you need to be able to prove it. So mounted here on the passenger side is the dash cam that I just bought off Amazon.com. This is the box that you can search. You can buy this using my uh, Amazon affiliate link in the description of my video. This costs $43, okay? And so what I could tell you is it's a very easy installation. It's almost like a smartphone. I'm going to walk through you now some simple things about it. It comes with the suction cup mount. It, then it just screws in the top to hold the smartphone piece together. And on the top side is an SD card that stores the memory footage uh, that is it's uh, retrieving as it records as you drive. The camera will automatically turn on when you start your car. I'm going to start it now. There it is. It'll start. This cord right here goes down to your cigarette lighter. And then you see here it's a little bit of a glare, but it'll start recording. Okay. And you can set it to five, 10, or 20 minute loops, meaning that it'll just record over itself every five minutes, every 10 minutes, or every 20 minutes. Most SD cards will have enough for at least an hour worth of storage. And most car accidents take seconds. So you don't need. Uh, to have that long of a loop. I have mine set right now at 10 minutes. Uh, it'll loop over itself and just keep recording. Now, when you turn your car off, it'll go into a 10 minute shut, a 10 second shutdown. So as soon as the, this uh, wire isn't giving it voltage anymore, it'll take 10 seconds. It just, it shut down right now and it'll shut down. But this is mounted on your passenger side, not your driver's side, because your driver's side, you want to have clear visibility as you drive. And this is mounted facing forward and it has kind of like a panoramic view that it will it will uh, capture everything within the uh, front circumference. Now this camera also has an, an extension meaning that you can put a rear camera in as well. What would happen is you'll plug in on top of this there's another port and you can run a rear mounted camera it's a little camera all the way to the back of your car and mount it, mount it uh, to face uh, you going backwards, uh, your rear view. So that would basically give you a 360 view of um, not just the front cam, but also the, the back cam. I don't have mine mounted yet. Here it is. That little square there is the camera. And this is a long wire that you can run on the side of your car, but this red wire here needs to be spliced into your um, reverse uh, tail lights. So that takes a little bit of work. It's not just something that you can do right away. You don't need to do the rear camera, but it, it's an extra level of protection because this is only going to capture footage going forward. So if, you, if someone rear-ended you, it would be nice to have a rear camera. So here's uh, the front of the rear camera too, just so you see it. So what I want to share with you guys is, again, 1.25 million people die per year in car accidents. Hundreds of millions are injured. It's a huge liability that can change your life, not just physically, emotionally, but financially. And I think all people in today's technology era should have a dash cam for $43. It's worth it for an extra level of protection. Definitely if you Uber, DoorDash, live in your car, or travel as a nomad. It's a no-brainer, guys. It's a must. It's a small investment for a big peace of mind. Small investment for a big peace of mind. So again, here is what I just bought myself. I spent my money. I'm not endorsed by this company uh, or anything like that. So I spent my money. I just popped it in today. Very easy installation. I haven't mounted the rear camera yet. I'm not sure when I'll do that. 
but you just start, you know, and you can dress this wire up nice. I just started this, uh, you know, I just did it right now, and then I figured I'd do this video to share with you. I believe this is wisdom. I believe this will definitely help you on your journey. So obviously, there's a lot more functionality, too, into the screen when you turn it on. You can go to the settings, and you can adjust different intervals, but it's very easy, very basic. This is all touchscreen back here. And, you know, the instruction manual was very simple, very basic. It'll take you five to ten minutes to install. I know there's mental pain involved in buying something and setting something up. Because I debated this for months, if not years. But what I could tell you is, push past the men mental pain of getting something new and figuring it out. This is very basic, very simple. You can do it. Just take it one step at a time, buy it, put it up, turn it on, and figure it out. It will be worth the investment if, God forbid, you get in an accident. Two of my viewers who live full-time in their car just got in an accident that told their vehicle within the past week. Okay, so this dash cam may have helped that process if they don't already have one. So, again, I, um, this is for my own protection and for your protection. I just think it's wisdom to have. So, best of luck to you and safe travels on your journey. Driving is one of the most dangerous things you'll ever do in your life. Uh, whether you're driving by yourself or driving with your family, it's a very, very dangerous thing, guys. So, you know, like I always tell you, that that's the most dangerous thing living on the road. It's not being attacked per se. It's being in a car accident. So protect yourself with this extra level of uh, protection regarding liability and clarity. Because again, when you get in an accident, it's, an, it's a physical and emotional thing. And the last thing you need to worry about is litigation or whatever. You just want it clear, simple, on camera, stored. And that's it. So hopefully this video helped. If it did, please click the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe if you're not. Share the video. Check out my playlist. And if you'd like to support my channel, if it values you, check out my Patreon. And thank you everyone who watched. See you in the next one.